Hello, hello. So I'm about to do my makeup and I figured, I figured I would take you guys along with me. I only have like not that much time to get ready. Not as much time as I thought I would, but I'm gonna be doing my everyday routine for the most part, so it shouldn't take me too long. I'm actually trying out a new primer and I haven't been using a primer like ever really um or it's been a while and i picked this one up from target it's by neutrogena it is a glow primer and serum so not like your typical primer i feel like and i don't know if this was necessarily my first choice but i thought it looked i liked the claims and that it would help my skin that would be a little more glowy so i'm gonna get that put on and it is like a little dropper so i think i will just have to play with it and figure out the best way to put it on but i'm just gonna press it in my skin the primer is on and it feels like it has set pretty well so let's see i go to foundations if you've been watching is my superstay uh, active wear by Maybelline and then my CoverGirl Plus Olay Simply Ageless. I love these products on their own. Put like a full pump of that. Um, but I ended up combining them at one point because of their color shades. This one is in 115 Ivory and then I have this one in uh, 232 Nude Beige which is far too dark for me. But I ended up blending them together one day and I love I love what it did for me so it's looking so yellow that's okay I ended up blending them together and I not only liked the color payoff but I feel like the coverage ends up working out so well and I am hoping actually I feel like I didn't I wasn't that strategic about placing that primer. I'm gonna get this blended out and I'll check back when I'm on the concealer. Alright, so that looks pretty good. Uh, this is my everyday concealer. I use the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser and I'm in 110, just using that for my under eyes. And today, because I want to brighten things up just a little bit more, I am using this uh, Maybelline Fit Me just on my inner corners. I found that I don't, I don't like to put too much of this on, especially like under my eyes because I feel like it really dries out or it gets really dry and it just does not do good things for my under eyes. Also, I do have a few breakouts going on but I don't typically spot conceal so I'm just not even gonna bother with it After concealer, I'm going in with my Airspun setting powder. And this has been my favorite for a long time. Um, and I've mentioned before that it does have a strong scent, so just be aware of that. Um, I'm going in with my sponge. And what I have been doing lately, pack on quite a bit, but then I blend it out. Putting it in under my eyes, T zone. And like I said, this is like my everyday, pretty much my everyday look. And I got it down, and I'm able to do it pretty quickly. After that, I'm gonna go ahead and take care of my brows. I've mentioned time and time again, this is my go to. 
my go-to brow product, the e.l.f. Instant Lift Brow Pencil. I get the color taupe. And I do have, I've said it, I have like dark, dark brown eyebrow hairs, almost, if not black. Um, but I feel like the taupe color blends it just feels nicely because I feel like it lightens them up a bit to kind of just go better with the hair on my head because the root the hair of my roots are I do have like dark blonde hair and in the summertime in the summertime it really lightens up so yeah not super precise I like to fill them in a bit and then just brush up the inner brow there. Let's make them a little more fluffy. Cool. All right, next. I use this Physicians Formula palette for eyeshadow and for my face. Concealing and, or not concealing, what am I saying? Contouring, bronzing, um, blush. I'm going in with the two apricot and deep bronzer. On this brush, I take the crease side for just that, the crease. Next, I'm going in with this Morphe palette. I am taking the color um, rock out. It's like this deep orange color and I like to put it on the outer corner of my lid. And then I am taking the chocolate diamond shade. And I like to use that just on the lower lash line. What would you say, outer third? Just to define the lash line a little bit and to just make it all pop. And this is just a little brush from Eco Tools. I my eyes. They're looking very, very warm, very red, but I love what it does for blue eyes. I feel like it just makes your blue eyes pop. Going back to the Physicians Formula palette, I am taking the Golden Hour highlighter and I'm putting that just with my finger in the center of my lid. I feel like it really just ties in that outer corner color and the color that I use in my crease. So what I love about using these as my eyeshadows, I feel like it just you know it's gonna look nice together because they were created to look that way so i'm gonna also take whimsical and just place that on the inner corner i'm gonna take a pause on my eyes for now going in with a real techniques blush brush i am gonna pat on this bronzer and the blush i've actually been just mixing them together to take care of my face it's just gone a lot more quickly for me compared to doing them separate and I think just blending them together adds makes just such a nice nice color okay. I'm gonna do the other side and I'm gonna kind of frame out the rest of my face and I'll check back in. Right, so pretty much all bronzed and blushed I just did my uh, my nose and my jawline too so pretty much the last step you guys like I said this is pretty I mean Pretty quick, I've been doing this for a while. I'm going in with my Maybelline Master Precise All Day Liquid Liner. And I do my best to just create a pretty thin line just on the outer, like outer half. not perfect I could sit there and 
<laughs> try to perfect it for such a long time, but just not even going to bother. I think I mentioned I am just getting ready to go hang out with some of my friends, my lady friends. Uh, last but not least, I'm using their telescopic mascara by L'Oreal. Um, I only recently got into using this and I love it. I usually, I hadn't strayed from my mascara in a while. I just kind of used what I have and I was like, oh, does it really make a difference? I feel like this stuff is just like next level. I love it. I feel like it does really lengthen, like separate. It separates and lengthens the lashes to make them look so much bigger, so much longer. So I really come to love this stuff and I feel like it, like it stays in place, it sticks. All right. So here we have it and I am, I'll just put on some chapstick. I'm not like a lip, not a big lipstick person. I haven't really gotten into it, it's just I don't wear anything really for lips on a regular basis from time and from time to time on special occasions. But all right, so this is it for the makeup portion. So this is what it looks like. Pretty simple, quick, and I feel like the blush, bronzer, and the eyes just really blend together nicely. So I'm gonna do my hair and then why don't I show you my outfit that I end up wearing. And this is part of it. 